Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jen and April here, and we are looking at um, a prep and positioning for the clamming exercise. So the clamming exercise is such a popular exercise. It's a great exercise. Um, we see it in the Pilates studio. A lot of PTs will give it to our clients. But a lot of times the client, um, they're working more into the pain because they don't actually understand the mechanics of the clamming exercise and how to really create opposition and contrast. And um, so, this video and the next video are really going to teach you how to give the client a, a feeling of um, right action in the clamming exercise. So April has a smart spine pillow under her head. Shoulders are stacked, hips are stacked for right now. Heels are in line with the sitting bones and the kneecaps are facing forward. So a lot of times what I do with my clients is I do a little hip shrug to start. So on the inhale, the hip can go up to the armpit and the bottom waist falls into the mat. And then on the exhale, she's just gonna take her hip towards her heels and she's gonna feel the lightening of that bottom waist. And then hip to the armpit, allowing the bottom waist to fall. And then hip to the heels, allowing the bottom waist to lighten. And one more, hip to the armpit, bottom waist falls and then hip to the heel. Good. All right. So now that we've had that, then I want her heels to stay connected and she's going to lift her knee in line with the hip socket. And then I'm going to keep one hand fingers on the kneecap and then my back hand is actually going to go onto her lumbar spine um, to, to kind of either side of the vertebrae into the speed bump musculature on either side of the spine. And then from there, I'm gonna ask her to tip this top pelvis back, yes. And then from here, keeping the top pelvis tipped back, I want her to imagine that she could connect my touch on her knee up into my touch on her back, good. And then I want her to hold the lumbar spine with its same angle, and this is very, very small. On her exhale, I want her to feel like she could reach her sitting bones and tail back and up without losing her front ribs and without increasing her lumbar curve. And that should give her an abdominal message. And then she's very clear on the femur really drawing back into the hip socket. And then from there, she keeps this connection of femur into the hip socket and she brings the pelvis forward. So we're back in that stacked position. And then from here, we would start the clamming exercise, which you're gonna see in the next video. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.